Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with y'all some of my favorite gluten-free snacks. Um, to start, I just wanna say, if you have celiac or another serious gluten allergy, definitely consult your doctor or a dietitian. I am neither of those. This is just what works for me. I've had stomach issues for years and I ended up taking out gluten as much as I could and it has helped tremendously. So if you're just experiencing that, I know dairy and gluten are two major irritants in people's diets. Um, so maybe try that and it will help you. But anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys what I um, eat and what we have in the house um, that is gluten free. So let's get started. Um, the first thing is this, let me see if I can just open one. Sorry, these are like brand new. Trail mix, I like different kind of trail mixes. It can be tricky sometimes because a lot of them I find that have like a mixture of things will have something that contains wheat, um, like somebody that's gluten intolerant. It does say processed in a facility that also handles egg, milk, and wheat ingredients. So um, that might, you know, affect somebody who has celiac, but I, I do okay with these. Um, so if it set, like I said, if it says that, but then it doesn't say contains wheat, then I consider it gluten-free for myself and then I can eat it. Um, so anyways, this is just from Target. This is that Archer Farmers, Archer Farms brand. It's um, the Cashew Cranberry Almond. Um, so I love snacking on trail mixes. This is another one. I don't remember where I got this. This is sweet and salty. I feel like these, the ones that have like the candy in them are super rare, but this one does not. It just says milk, peanuts, and soy. So those are two snacks I love. Um, another snack I love are these. Um, the Chobani Flip Peanut Butter Cup. These are really good. I have to like hide these for my kids because they're just so good. Um, next, these waffles. Now, are these the best? I mean, you know, they're no Eggo waffle, but once you put a little bit of syrup, sometimes I put fruit or peanut butter, they're really good. Um, these are dairy free and gluten free and egg free, so that's nice. Anyways, these are the Vans. I get the blueberry, that's my favorite. So the Vans blueberry um, toaster waffles, super good. Next, the Quest protein shake and salted caramel. I love these, they're high in protein. I used to drink the Premier Protein, but after trying these, the Premier Protein doesn't even compare. Um, they have some kind of weird aftertaste. These do not, so good. Um, you know, I like to keep them in the fridge, but if it's not in the fridge, I'll put it on ice, super good. I've had this flavor and the chocolate for sure, and those are both good. I can't speak to the other flavors, but perfect for like a post-workout or just in between meal snacks, so definitely give those a try. Next, my husband, of course, like attacked this whole bag last night. And this isn't even my favorite flavor, but it is the Boom Chicka Pop. We had the strawberry Greek yogurt. They, that's another thing. They're always releasing really good. But like in fall, they'll probably release some fall flavors. But um, whenever I go to the store, there's always like a different flavor. Love the dessert flavors. They have like a caramel one, you know, just anything. Peanut butter, chocolate. Um, I've had a bunch of different ones. Right now, this is the one we used to have. He, he ate it, it's the white cheddar, but Boom Chicka Pop in general, I have never had a flavor that I didn't like. They are amazing. So if you are a popcorn fan, definitely give these a try. Um, and you can see it says gluten-free. So those are super good. Next, these are like my favorite cookies in the world. These don't last long in my house. Um, it's the Goody Girl birthday cake um, cookies. I like them better than Oreos. They are amazing. Um, I did a little um, craft or whatever DIY with them for 4th of July. So check that out in my in one of my prior videos with these so good. So give those a try as well, gluten-free. Next are these, whatever you do, don't smell them. They don't smell the best. Now, are these amazing, blow your mind? No, but I mean, it's a gluten-free snack. Um, these do have milk in them, but they're gluten-free, like I said. This is the white cheddar flavor. I just, sometimes I just like a little bit of salty, you know. Doesn't have to knock my socks off. I think they're good. My husband, you know, had to smell them and was like, oh my God, they smell terrible. But I'm like, it is it is what it is. They're still edible to me. So these are another, they, they come in all different flavors. Um, these are the Harvest Snaps Green Pea. 
I've seen these everywhere, Target, your grocery store. So that's another idea for gluten-free. Um, these I'm obsessed with. The bags are too small. I mean, I can destroy like 10 of these and they're, they're kind of pricey. I will say that. Um, are these smart sweets? This, these two are my two uh, favorite flavors, Sour Blast Buddies. And these are the peach rings. These are so good. They're both really good. But I mean, these taste just like the normal peach rings. Um, and they're just, you know, way better for you than like a typical gummy bear. It says plant-based goodness. Um, Peanut-free, nut-free. Obviously no gluten. Um, 80 calories for a bag. Zero protein, 33 carbs. So it would be a good post-workout um, as well. But just really good. Like I said, I mean, I could destroy a million. I wish I almost wish they would make a bigger bag because what's this going to do? I mean, not much. I'm not going to fill me up. Um, next is rice cakes. Obsessed with rice cakes. This is my favorite flavor by far, caramel. I've seen where people do, you know, take the um, different flavored ones that aren't like the sweet flavors and do like avocado. But my favorite is to either just put peanut butter on these or do um, peanut butter and banana cut up. Love these for like an in-between meal snack. Uh, amazing, my son, son's obsessed with these too. Just says contains soy, um, so really good. Next, going along with the Quest theme, um, are these Quest bars. I, now again, I can't speak to if all of them are gluten-free. I think they are. Um, this is the chocolate peanut butter. My personal favorite is the, uh, I think it's called chocolate chip cookie dough. These um, just says milk and peanuts. Um, but good macros on it. 210 calories, 20 protein, 10 fat. Love these also for an in-between, you know, thing or just snack or breakfast or whatever. Super good. Um, and then last for snacks, and then I'm going to talk about two, like, cooking things are these i don't know how i went so long like obviously you know the sugary cereal is not always good for you but sometimes late at night or first thing you know whatever i'm craving it i'm not i don't believe in depriving if you want something have it just don't go crazy um but anyways are these i did not know that lucky charms were gluten-free because a lot of these cereals contain barley wheat um whatever it wasn't until like about a month ago i just happened to look at the box and down here it says gluten-free we picked up this one where all the marshmallows are green, um, but these are super good and super exciting that they are in fact gluten-free. So just FYI, um, super good. I think the uh, Reese Puffs are also gluten-free, um, which I was super excited about. I could be wrong, but I think, that, you know, it says whole grain oats, but um, like down here it says gluten-free. I don't exactly know the science to reading the nutrient. I just know you know how to read it for myself if it says gluten-free usually it doesn't bother me um okay so that is it snack wise now there are two different flour just for cooking like my daughter loves baking um and so we'll bake like you know once every other week or whatever and i've just been experimenting with different flours because um you know i don't know just nothing beats like normal flour so anyways I, this is the first flour i bought now, I don't know if I just haven't found a recipe that wasn't good, but I'm not a fan of this flour. This is the Pillsbury gluten-free. Just, I don't know, it, it's like, you can just tell. There's nothing worse than when you can tell that it's not like the real deal. So, wasn't my favorite. Um, my favorite though, that I have found, we made peanut butter cookies, uh, chocolate chip cookies. I honestly can't tell the difference. I think they're better, um, is this. This is my favorite flour if you're trying to eat gluten-free. It's the Bob's Red Mill super fine almond flour. Um, this stuff can be pricey, but this bag has lasted us a long time. Um, Gluten-free, obviously, because it's almond flour. So I just wanted to show you guys that, again, in case you're changing your diet. I know for me, when I started eating gluten-free, it was pretty overwhelming. Um, then once I got into the groove and kind of just learned, okay, this has gluten, this doesn't, it just gets easier as time wears on. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys my favorites. Um, obviously, when we shop, it's always different. So um, next time I have like a bunch of stuff to show you, I will do another one of these if y'all enjoy it. Um, if y'all have any questions, let me know. Leave me a comment letting me know if you eat gluten-free, what your favorite snacks are. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.